Geography is very, very important to understanding ancient Mesopotamia. Specifically, it was the rivers and mountains that provided water and resources to the ancient inhabitants of Mesopotamia. This allowed the people in the area of Mesopotamia to plant crops and to start some of the first large-scale agricultural centers in antiquity. Now let's first take a look at this map so we can discuss the overall geography of Mesopotamia. In terms of geography, Mesopotamia has very distinct regions. To the east and north of Mesopotamia are a series of hills that eventually turn into very large mountain ranges. The most important range are the Zagros Mountains. The Zagros Mountains are a massive range that bottles up the northern part of Mesopotamia. The range moves from the east to west, today modern-day Iran, through northern Iraq and extends all the way into modern-day Turkey. Some of the earliest evidence of agricultural production has been discovered in the Zagros Mountains. This dates back as far as 9000 BC. These early farmers used seasonal rainfall to water their crops. So keep in mind this was not an irrigated agriculture that we see later in southern Mesopotamia. That didn't happen until around 5000 BC. The ancient inhabitants in this area also used the Zagros Mountains for timber and stone. Here's another look at the Zagros mountain range marked in green. You also notice another important range right above the Zagros, the Taurus Mountains. The Taurus Mountains are a water source for both the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. To the west and south of Mesopotamia lies the Arabian Desert. The Arabian Desert has a subtropical climate and it covers most of the Arabian Peninsula. Throughout ancient times, the Arabian Desert was a very desolate area. The people that inhabited the desert were nomadic tribes. Now, it's important to note there were desert-like regions inside Mesopotamia itself, but it's not nearly as formidable as the Arabian or Sahara deserts, which are classified as hot deserts. And on that note, the final area we will discuss is the land between the two rivers, which encompasses what we think of as ancient Mesopotamia. The most important part of Mesopotamia encompasses the land between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. Both rivers are fed by tributaries that mainly originate from the Armenian highlands. Now, in ancient times, Armenia was a much larger place than it is today. Now, in terms of the rivers, both of these rivers unite and empty into the Persian Gulf. Rolling plains are very common in the areas between the two rivers. As I mentioned, the northern part is much hillier, which eventually turns into mountains. Southern Mesopotamia consists of lowland marshes, along with fertile plains and mild deserts. But of course, it is the two rivers that made ancient Mesopotamia into what it ultimately became the cradle of civilization. It was along these two rivers where the first cities developed. The earliest settlers used the rivers to irrigate the surrounding lands with water. Irrigation was needed because there was not enough rainfall to support a seasonal harvest. They also used the rivers to travel. It was far easier to travel by river since many of the surrounding lands were quite formidable. The rivers also allowed for trade between the large cities in ancient Mesopotamia. Now, the current in the Tigris moves much faster than the Euphrates River. The Tigris has deeper channels, so it was far more difficult for the ancients to set up irrigation canals. In fact, the Sumerian name of the Tigris translates literally to the Swift River. In contrast, the Euphrates is a much slower river, so it was easier initially to set up irrigation canals. And as I mentioned, in order to grow crops and set up an agricultural system, the early cities were forced out of necessity to set up irrigation. It was along these two rivers where strong population growth occurred, especially in the south. Many of the cities in Mesopotamia were located near the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, and competition between the individual city-states was fierce. Two of the earliest civilizations, the Sumerians and the Akkadians, competed for control of the rivers and surrounding plains. Control the rivers, and you can control the trade. Control the surrounding plains, and you can also control the farmlands. So that is why the rivers and plains were the cause of most of the disputes during ancient times. Now take a look at this map. Notice anything interesting here? Most of the metals were outside of Mesopotamia. So most of the cities in Mesopotamia were forced to import their metals, especially from the region in the Taurus Mountains. Okay, we'll get to the timeline portion of the series in the next video.